Hey guys, today I'll be showing a simulation analysis of a mechanical connector using WellSim. WellSim is a new simulation software based on the finite element methods. So uh, you can download from wellsim.com. There are more information there. So it's not free software, but very affordable. And check it out and let us know if you have any comments. I already have a WellSim installed, so I double click with this item. And uh, I have the main window now, and I click the create a new project. I have a bunch of list, uh, the object generated in the list. So uh, first step, let's define a new material. So uh, we already have a structure steel material defined, and uh, now let's create a new one. So here is a material newly generated, and I add the Young's modulus and Poisson ratios to this material. This is sufficient for the linear isotropic material. So let's put 2, 10 to the 11 and the poison ratio is going to be 0.33. It's basically the structure steel. Okay, click the but OK button and we have this material. Now the second step is import a CAD geometry. We import this geometry. So as we can see this is basically a half of the mechanical connector. So it's a symmetric model. Then the back of the side is connected with uh, the weld on a, a big size structure and uh, here is a cylinder hole and basically can connect with the bolt. Um, let's do the mesh now. And we change the mesh density a little bit to get a fine mesh. We change the maximum size uh, to two. Okay. And click the mesh button here. Now we have a, a very good mesh now, then uh, we can see the elbow area get a uh, dense uh, mesh. So the total nodes here is about uh, 13,000 something element uh, nodes, and the total uh, elements is going to be 8,000 something. Now uh, let's impose boundary condition. We impose a pressure boundary condition force. In a one displacement for the symmetric setting and one constraint. Okay, for the pressure we impose the, on this edge, the this surface. We we'll give it a value of uh, three point six ten to the seven. On the y direction, uh, we want it force down, so give it a negative value. Okay, it's kind of a shear uh, pressure on the surface. And uh, we have a uh, force imposed on this uh, uh, circular area. And we give it a vector, uh, the force vector about uh, negative 2, 10 to the 3. Okay, It's forcing down as well. And uh, we impose the displacement boundary condition to mimic the symmetric condition. These two surfaces, and uh, we constrain the y direction. And last but not least, we impose the constraint, which is uh, fully constrained on this back of the connector. Okay, the boundary conditions are all set. Let's solve. It should be done in seconds. Okay, it's done. When this pump up the window disappeared, and which means solver is finished. So we have a bunch of uh, predefined results. Double click it, and we can see the deformation. This is the total deformation, which makes sense. And then we have uh, the von Mises stress here, and we can see the, the stress concentration happening on this album corner. So if you want to optimize this, uh, part maybe we can just make this area is uh, bigger and heavy which can improve the whole uh, stress of the part we have a strain double click it I see this strain result so sometimes you want to see the mesh def, uh, the mesh with the the, gel, uh, the result and we can just click the shoe mesh here yeah the mesh is showing together with the, the result quantum and uh, Maybe we can see the shoe deformation and 
Here the deformation is so small it's hard to see and we, let's change the deformation scale from 1 to 10. Okay, so now we can easily tell the deformation, the mesh, and also the stress together, all, we, all in one picture now. So now we can just capture this picture and uh, put on your report. Okay, so that's a very quick analysis on the mechanical connector. Let, let us know if you have any suggestions or comments, and uh, we'll make more videos uh, about welding. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.